Hey, what's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. I want to show you uh, my delivery that just came. This is a Lantac Smooth Cam CPR360 Upper Advanced Receiver. This is a billet uh, receiver for the AR platform. This is a true unboxing. I have not opened it yet. It says uh, thank you from Lantac. You know, the, the cool thing is, I'll show you right on here on the box, is we have a picture of one of their ARs. Um, Lantac is a British company, and they say that they make uh, very affordable AR parts. Um, because as you know the Brit rules are different on guns um, but I think they make some ass kicking looking parts uh, so I don't know why they kind of build themselves as making affordable parts because um, you can charge whatever you want if they're really cool so it comes in this little bubble envelope and I can hear some stuff rattling and I think I know what it is so first of all I want to tell you that it is a, uh, a billet uh, 775 T6 aluminum upper um, as you can see there, the cool thing here, and what I really like, and what I'm looking for parts for a new AR uh, that are very technical looking, you know, uh, strong straight edges, you know, like the Seekins and the Juggernauts, and, and you know, I've been looking at a lot of different stuff in, in Hera, um, but uh, the cool thing here is that, uh, you know, the deflector and the forward assist housing are all shaped uh, very flat. They, th this is actually... You can see here, and when I say flat, I may be lying to you a little bit because it's a little bit like a slope ski ramp. Um, I do have a dust cover here, and I'll show you those in a little bit. And I'm going to show you to a different video of you know when you use a flat dust cover here, how slick this looks. The deflector, Hera Arms has an upper receiver that looks a whole lot like this, um, with this kind of slightly angled deflector here. And the cool thing is. What I understand is that most deflectors, unlike my other AR, you know, it shoots, it, it ejects the shell almost straight 90 degrees to your right. Um, my understanding is that this kind of puts puts it up and back and over your shoulder so you don't hit the people in the range right next to you. The, the difference with the Hera Arms one are two small differences. This piece is kind of cut to, uh, uh, to uh, you know, kind of... Uh, smooth into the forward assist housing here on the Hera arms one it's just a flat cut I actually like that one better because it kind of makes this piece look a little separate and the the smooth kind of uh, ski ramp look of the uh, forward assist housing looks a little more pronounced but what I really liked about this is that the upper rail here seems to have kind of a higher tower and they actually can silk screen land tack or yeah so it's green. I was going to say maybe it's laser etched into it um, uh, cause, because this is this is a little taller so they can fit their name and logo in there. On the Hera, it comes right up to the top, much closer to the uh, the top flat rail. Pick rail all the way up, uh, up and down the side. And you can even see here a little bit of that flat edge because where um, it's going to meet the rounded cur or the rounded edge of to the lower. Um, this is flat, 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 uh, kind of. Kind of like a modern day battleship the other thing i really like about it is like i said technical modern almost sci-fi looking i really wanted to make a really clean looking ar and uh, i like all the flat edges it says uar here upper advanced receiver uh in uh kind of i assume silk screen on this side so kind of that bold white print i definitely like that it kind of is like sci-fi aliens you know where they'll where they put big numbers like pod bay zero one on the doors whoever does that but you know in sci-fi things it looks cool um so otherwise pretty pretty standard ar stuff the cool thing here and, and that i like is a couple of different different angles not just all 90 degree angles kind of makes it look a little bit uh, lamborghini gallardo ish to me uh so the other thing i want to point out here and let me see show you a couple of the other the unique things as i understand it is that the inside of this is burnished so um a low friction and i can tell you that the outside kind of feels not rough but you know a, a billet aluminum uh smooth but in here it feels ooh, feels much smoother it doesn't feel like glass but it feels um you know noticeably smoother than it does here so especially if you're go going with a nickel boron uh bolt or something like that you know you're trying to cut down a friction it, it certainly would make sense to get a receiver that has a nice frictionless in internal surface too so you know you have those two things working together the other thing i'll show you here is in the recess for your bolt cam they have uh they have machined off the edges so you can see that maybe a little hard here but little rounded edges 
on each side. So usually those are just kind of sharp. Um, what they said that is uh, for is so that the, the cam pin doesn't uh, nick the edge. It has a little bit more forgiveness there. Um, I, don't, I don't know that I've ever noticed my cam pin hitting them, but uh, it's kind of a nice little feature because anytime there's a sharp, you know, 90 degree edge, those are always the weakest point of metal anyway. So this kind of uh, gets rid of some of those weak points. So that's kind of cool. And the last thing I want to point out here, and this is probably going to be the hardest to see, but, um, and it's going to really be based on the lighting, but you can see right behind uh, the lugs here, it, it's going to be really hard to see, but uh, the metal is just a little bit raised up. And so they put a little bit of forgiveness built into the receiver to try to um, uh, forgive or to eliminate the upper and lower wiggle uh, is, is my understanding there. So uh, really cool, really beautiful. And I think it, when you're looking for um, kind of a, a unique upper, this, uh, this definitely is one to consider. The other thing I'll throw out here, and this is maybe you know, no one cares or it's the same on all, but you know, most mill spec uppers have um, a narrow cut here, just like these. These little indentations allow you to get uh, fore ends or, or hand guards that have the little tabs that kind of brace in here. I've noticed on some other uppers and, and a couple other uppers I'm looking at and uh, one that I bought, um, that this is a little bit larger. So they're, especially when you buy them in a match set, sometimes they kind of build, uh, they mill it out however they want. But in this case, um, you know, you do have the notches here so that if you have uh, a handguard with those indexing tabs, you know, it'll still work. Everything else is is pretty much the same. You know, like I said, I'm taking a first look at this, but just looks looks cool. You, my hand sweat and oils are getting on it, but um, you know, I think this is going to be really awesome. I'm going to definitely use this upper. I'm really excited about doing it. Lantac also has a handguard that really does a nice job of matching the contours here, called the Spada, and they keep teasing everyone with it. But it's not out yet. I wish I had that. Uh, but by the time I go ahead and build this one, I don't think it's going to be out. Now, I heard something rattling, and I want to show you this because this is also unique. They include a bolt cam pin in the package here. And why this is unique is you can see it doesn't have the rectangular head like many pins. So it's it has a flat edge, which helps, which which helps you index it when you're putting it in. Boom! You you put it into the bolt. You can twist it so that you get the uh, firing pin through there. But it, that you can see here, ooh, my sexy rough hands. You know, I was working on my car earlier. Manly stuff. Uh, that the cam pin head is rounded. So that is supposed to help as it's um, transitioning and uh, cycling back and forth into the recess so that you don't gouge anything up. I know this isn't going to be super easy to see um, because, you know, it, it's kind of when it unlocks from the uh, the barrel, um, it, it comes into this position and then kind of centers up as it's going back in. So the, the, the rounded pin is supposed to cut down on wear and gouging and all that too. Again, I haven't noticed it being a problem for me, but the fact that either they're seeing that or and they've come up with a solution, I'm certainly going to replace it and, and use the pin they, they sent here with my uh, new bolt um, and uh, expect you know, maybe to not have problems that they discovered. So otherwise, really cool. Like I said, Lantech, uh, which I believe is uh, abbreviation for Lanner Tactical, um, only has a few different parts here available in the U.S. This upper, this cam pin is one of them. They also have some bolts they've made. Um, I'm really looking forward and hope they come out with some of their other parts soon. I noticed that you can't get the lower because, I don't know, they're not bothering with uh, importing those um, because of you know, they actually qualify as a firearm, et cetera, et cetera. So but let's take a look at this uh, this upper with a couple uh, different dust covers that I have, and I want to show you, I think it'll make kind of a difference in the way it looks. So otherwise, Lantex Smoothie Cam, UAR, Peter Mopanda, out.